But yeah, I didn't expect to be walking like that without, without my splints on. Never thought, never thought that would happen. Or not, not this quick anyway. Um, Matt Shepard, I uh, had a 10.5 metre fall and shattered T12. Uh, diagnosis was complete at first and then changed a couple of weeks later to incomplete. Um, basically got told I'd never get out of my wheelchair again. Did heaps of physio at the start but didn't find anyone could push me hard enough. So I basically did most of it on my own going to the gyms and just trying to get an understanding of my own body and when I first started to stand up I was still in hospital, I was in hospital for seven months and I was going to the gym at the hospital twice a day as much as I could and I think the first time I stood up I only passed out or tried to pass, it just took so long of people helping me up and just trying to get the right movements. Yeah, I just needed that assistance at first to get up and then I think after a while I've built the muscle or not even the muscle down low, just the power up top to just pull myself up and then yeah, just progress from at first was swinging legs, just swinging them around instead of trying to step. Not in a way like I can always do this with splints but I want to get rid of the splints and I want to get rid of the walking sticks and that's what I'm here and that's where the benefits come in for me. So it doesn't look like it's benefited me now because I can walk with splints and that but I want to get rid of these and walk without and that's where it has benefit. Every other time when I walk without splints before I come here I always watch my feet every time like every step I'm always cautious where I'm placing my feet and when I was walking there I was looking forward the whole time and still placing my feet fairly good actually better and I wasn't didn't have to look down at my feet once I was looking forward and walking. Oh good felt good to actually get away and I knew I didn't have my splints on and yeah, I could just get up and sort of go. It gives yeah. you a bit, of, a bit more hope. Yeah. Usually it's without the splints, it's very slow and controlled. Like, got the sticks out and it's yeah, very tensed up and yeah, nothing like that. It's been four days and in that four days of my posture's got a lot better. Um, I'm being able to walk on my knees, which I've never been able to do before. I could get up on my knees, but I never could stay there very, very well. Whereas now I can get up on my knees. So I was doing a bit of walking on them. And then just yesterday, I was walking without my splints at a decent pace, which I've never done before and didn't think possible at within four days. If anyone's in the position I'm in, I would definitely recommend go down, come down and check it out and give it a go. So it's, I've made improvements within four days, so I can't see why anyone else couldn't. Yeah.